All right. So I'm doing this on my phone instead of my computer because I'm worried that my, um, what's it called? My Wi-Fi won't work in this room. So we'll see if it works or not. If not, I can always switch to my service, but also my computer is like freaking out right now because it says my disc is almost full. Um, so right now I have to try and restart it so I can read the comments, but I can also see them in the bottom. So I have my spooky background. Don't mind my house phone ringing. We never answer it. Um, my spooky background because it's almost Halloween and look at this. Wow, it's got apple cider and it's so festive. Mm. I need to check to see if there's anything in my teeth before I started this. Where's the mirror? I need a mirror. BRB. That could be so embarrassing. No, good. Okay. All right. So I have a pumpkin right mirror. And I didn't clean it though, which is kind of gross, I guess. But I have to, I'm going to curve the shit out of this boy. I want to make a past lives pumpkin while we Q&A this. Um, so, but I'm not really that artistic, and the last time I made a, tried to make a pumpkin that was more than just a regular jack-o'-lantern, it all just fell apart, so we'll see if this goes well at all. If not, that's also fine. Um, I'm trying to put some, this Facebook stream up also on my laptop next to me so I can, like, read the comments a little bit bigger, but my computer disc is almost full right now, so it's kind of just being a, a giant pooper. Halloween goals! Hi, Thomas Emerson. Um, oh, I was supposed to name this. How do I name this? I don't even know how to name this. I hope I'm doing this right. What does this button do? What does this button do? Whoa! Who knew you could do this? Holy shoot. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at all this. So fancy. I don't know what this one's doing. This is just a little bit too much for me. Oh, sassy. All right. So, yeah, basically, we can Q&A this. It's a non-alcoholic drink, Kenny. It's just regular apple cider. It's basically apple juice. I'm just having a good time. All right. So, feel free to ask me questions, past lives related or otherwise. I want to try and make a past lives pumpkin. Here's my thing. Should I paint the pumpkin pink and... Oh wait, what was I gonna say? Yeah, should I paint the pumpkin pink and then paint like the white past lives on it? Or should I car try and carve out the past lives eye and then paint it pink? What do you think? I hope we come to Slovakia, Philip. We'll definitely come to Canada. We have to come back to Canada. It's been a, it's been a minute. Was so loud? What was so loud? Oh, it was probably because I was literally grabbing the the speakers of my what's my Halloween costume gonna be I can't tell you also I have like three options right now because I ordered a costume but I'm not sure if it'll fit right because I'm small so we'll see what happens so that song that Alex recorded uh, was he was just recording harmonies on it it was a song that we wrote together um, but he wasn't singing on it he just sang some harmonies on it but we still have it so Maybe in the deluxe edition, if there is a deluxe edition. Carve the eye. That's gonna be hard as fuck. Okay, Let's see if I can do that. I should have taken out all the guts and stuff before I did this, but be careful, headphone users. I have this industrial ready for this. I'm gonna hold it back here so it doesn't hurt headphones. <laughs> it's a like a pumpkin carver, like the regular pumpkin carvers but it's battery powered. So it just, happy birthday, Anthony. My favorite tour date so far was 
That's hard. I mean, London is always so special just because it's kind of the main hub of that region, of the Europe region. So that's, you know, we had so many people traveling in that show and so many people that were traveling to meet up with each other, like friends that had become friends because of us that had never met before in person. So it was pretty special, but it's all really, really good. I've never had an arm or a leg in a cast. I've only had my finger in a cast because when I was in first grade, I stuck it between the uh, hinges of a door in the bathroom. Don't know why, but I did it. What song from Past Lives am I most looking forward to playing live? Mm, maybe Pretty All The Time, because I think that's a really fun song, um, but I don't know. We'll try. Oh, Nick, you were at our first Norwich show. Yeah, that was good. Good times, good times. All right, carve a pumpkin on the pumpkin. That's a good one. I like that idea. I, I, yeah, I'm gonna like, let me look up our album artwork. Past lives against the current. Cause I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to carve. I should have gotten a bigger pumpkin cause this is quite a small, small guy. I'm not artistic, like visual artistic. I'm pretty bad at that kind of stuff. Um, I'm good at music, I guess. There are probably some people out there that are like, hey, no, but I'm making my career out of it, so let's hope for the best. Oh, God, this eye. It's so, like, I don't know if it'll stick together. I don't know, man. Why do we have to make such a complicated thing? I'm trying to figure out the best way to be doing this. No, I knew it, Lauren. I knew I knew my own album artwork, but I had to see like the eye in person. I'm not gonna use a stencil. I was gonna print it out and try and like use a stencil, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna try and go for it, I think. Let's see. I guess you just gotta make oh this pencil sucks. A circle. I feel like I started too big already. We'll see. What were the influence for the new album? Um, it's a hard question because we are influenced by such a great variety of music. We love so many different things and you wouldn't necessarily hear those things if I told you that. I think somewhere in some article somewhere that, I think even, I think it was Rock Sound that posted it. I mentioned being influenced by the Foo Fighters and someone listening to our music and then would not, and then someone who also likes Foo Fighters would not see the comparison between the two. They wouldn't be like, oh, like, yeah, against current, sounds like the Foo Fighters, what? Like, no, they wouldn't think that. But for me, it was just one of those things where I'm naturally a really wordy lyricist. I over explain things in life in general and in my lyrics. And when I saw, or not when I saw, but when I started getting really into the Foo Fighters, I realized how powerful Dave Roll's lyrics were but so simple at the same time. And to me, that was really cool, how simple and elegant that they could be, but like still conveying so much. Hi, Sammy! Hi, pretty girl! <laughs> My dog just came in. <laughs> Hello! Hi, you wanna come over? No, you're like, I don't know what's going on, but I don't like it. No, she's out. She doesn't like anything that's not routine, so. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I definitely love bands like the Foo Fighters, Will loves Crowning, Counting Crows, Dan grew up on like Def Leppard, things like that. And those aren't things that you would listen to our band and be like, yeah, sounds like they were in, uh, influenced by Def Leppard, but there are these subtleties or just these things that we picked up over the years um, by listening to their music and playing their music. So sounds weird, but it's not fake. Let me get back to my pumpkin. She's still like prancing around. Hi! All right. Let's see. I'm gonna make a second circle around the first circle. This is pretty hard to draw actually. So, voices sounds like Arctic Monkeys. Cool. I like it. How many circles are there in this? Show? All right. 
another circle. Shout out to prove your friend wrong. I'm all about it. Let's prove your friend wrong. We are definitely working on coming back to Italy soon. I mean, I love Italy, so I'd love to come back. Steffi, what do I love most in Asia? Probably the food. Um, growing up, I never realized, I guess I just never really knew what Asian food was. I, we, like, I thought Chinese food was takeout. I thought it was like, you know, lo mein and that kind of thing. And I mean, obviously you guys have lo mein noodles, but I didn't realize how diverse the food was until I started traveling in Asia and how different all of the different Asian cuisines were and like so, so different. You know, we grow up kind of in this little bubble and don't really realize because in my area, we didn't have a lot of good Asian food. We just really had Chinese takeout places and some bad sushi places. So for me, traveling Asia is awesome because I get to try so many different types of food that I've never even heard of. Uh, some that I've, I haven't actually tried myself, like monkey's eyeball soup. Not, not my thing. I'm not gonna, not gonna experiment that far, but it's really cool just to see that these are things because you would never see something like that on a menu here. So it's interesting. We were just in Newcastle actually, but hopefully we'll get back there again soon. Bump, what is your favorite song that you've ever sang from the covers you've done to your originals? Um, to the originals, my favorite song I think would be Come Alive because it was the most challenging for me to get into a rhythm uh, with. And then for covers, maybe... I don't know let's see um i really re i really like you that carly ray jepson song with that we did with max was really fun because that's just like a really upbeat song and it's really exciting and yeah it was just like a good time no pun intended because we've also done a cover of that song good time guys i don't think this is gonna come out very good but we're gonna give her a shot last show i binge watched um i'm currently binging parks and rec and I know I'm super late to that, but I love it so much. You know what I'm also super late to? Um, and don't hate me for this because I love it now that I'm watching it for the first time is Lord of the Rings. I'm on, I'm almost done with the third movie. I just had to pause it to do this. Um, I was watching it earlier, but I have like one, one uh, hour left of the last movie. And then I think I'm just gonna go back and watch the deluxe editions because I love it. Oh, you like eyes like guns? Um, we always have like a, just part of like our deal with Japan is that we have to, we do a, like a, an exclusive Japanese track. So uh, that song wasn't gonna make the actual record. So um, it was like a last minute decision. And then we decided to release it for Jap uh, Japan because we still really liked it, um, but we just didn't have space for it on the regular record. Mm. I'm not painting anything yet. Like you can't, you won't be able to see it because it's just pencil. I'm just trying to outline the thing. What was the last show I went to as a fan? Oh shoot, um, I went to Taylor Swift with my mom. I took my mom to Taylor Swift. That was really fun. Um, I'm on a mission to see, and the last, uh, I can't remember which one was first actually. I, last show was either Foo Fighters or Taylor Swift, and I love both of them and they were awesome. The favorite gig I've ever been to that wasn't one of uh, mine was getting to watch, technically I opened the show. So, you know, ATC was the opener on that one, but the show was um, one OK Rock's headliner in Japan, and that was the coolest thing I've ever seen. So apparently in Japan, in those big venues, not for our shows, but in those venues, they don't allow cell phones at all. You cannot have your cell phone. So everyone was purely just into the show, and then one OK Rock is unbelievably amazing and their production was just unreal. It was like watching a movie. I don't even know how they did it live, so. Yeah, it was so cool. Why am I not screaming on scream? I like that question. I mean, I think the idea of it was kind of supposed to um, have this play on words where it's like, you make me scream, but have it be like soft and girly. I just like the, the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not like juxtaposition, but you know what I mean? Kind of the irony to saying something intense while doing it softly and girly. <laughs> Opening up for Fall Out Boy was Awesome. It was really cool for us too because they're a band that has been through a similar transition to us where they were considered part of the scene when they started and now they're obviously pretty mainstream. Like they're on pop radio and things like that and you hear them everywhere and anywhere. So for us to be able to see how they kind of married those two 
you know, their past and their present into one show was really, really awesome and really helpful for us as well, because we're trying to, you know, preserve what ATC was as well as becoming, letting us become something new and letting ourselves grow up. So, yeah. We're so excited for Rock M Ring. That's a really cool thing for us. Um, a little intimidated the, because the lineup is obviously like so big, like it's awesome. And um, weirdly no unknown fact is that I love Tool. Um, 46 and 2 is one of my favorite songs ever. And so I am really excited to see Tool. Like really excited. I never thought that there would be an opportunity for me to like see Tool while on tour myself. I thought that would be something that I would ultimately have to seek out. So I'm pretty excited for that. We'll see though. I'm not getting very far on this pumpkin though. My favorite Taylor Swift song. Um, I'm gonna go off, just specifically off the new record because of all time, it's just too hard. Uh, I really like the song. I can never remember the name. Oh, Call It What You Want. I love that song. My favorite thing to do when I'm on tour is eat. I love trying different food in all of the different, um, like different countries and different places and just, I don't know, it's really cool. So it's a lot of fun. Hello to Hong Kong. We haven't announced any other festivals yet, but we will be announcing other ones. Is there a chance that you'll get Sammy in the live stream? I'm sure she'll make an appearance at some point. I can go track her down. She's a... Uh, She's, I don't think she's into the, uh, that I'm in here right now, but I'll go find her. We don't really, like, hang out in here. This isn't, I hope this comes out okay. I don't know if I'm going to carve this. Maybe I should just paint it. Oh, whoa, I switched it. How did it switch? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, it's the wrong way. Oh God, what did I do? Oh wait, rotate. I did rotate it, but why is my like bar over here? Does anyone else know how to work Facebook Live? Oh God, my candle. Because now I can't read what you're saying because it's like on the side. Am I sideways? Mm. Yeah, I'm so glad we were your first concert, Mikey. That's awesome. Danimal are awesome. The only reason they're not here is because they're in Orlando right now because they live there. So, otherwise we'd be doing this together. I started doing the back bend like five years ago. Um, just like lightly. I didn't plan for it to go where it is. I just kind of like leaned back a little bit while I was like holding a note. And then I flipped my head forward and our manager, Mike, actually was like, that was really cool. It was like a mohawk. It was the girl hawk. And we called it the girl hawk at first. That was like our joke with it. And so I just kind of started doing it more and more and more. Um, and I just started bending further and further back. <laughs> and then it got to what it is today. I didn't, it, it wasn't anything I ever like planned on doing or like thought about doing. Um, it just kind of became what it is now. So it's kind of a weird thing but a fun thing. How do I flip this back? I am an annual pass holder for Disney. I know, I know, this thing is sassing me. Something happened here. And I don't know how to fix it. No, it's just my dining room. Turn your phone. I know, but every time I turn my phone, it says I have to turn the, to turn my phone the other way. Rotate your phone. I'm rotating it, but my chat is sideways for some reason. It's messing with me here. I don't know why we've never been at Blackpool. I'm not sure. We should come to Blackpool, though. Okay, I'm gonna have to open my chat up on here because I'm just doing it sideways. Facebook. Am I Wait, I'm sideways too. What the heck? What? But 
But it's saying that I can't. Hold on. No, I'm still sideways. What is happening here? How did I just like halfway through? It won't let me flip back. It won't flip the chat back. See, this is how I'm supposed to be and now I'm just sideways. How is this possible? Okay, I'm rotating my phone, it just keeps yelling at me. I know, I had one job, right? I can't get it to go like the regular way. It like yells at me. I guess I could do this, but I have to like back up, right? To get in the camera still. I'm just gonna paint this pumpkin pink because it's already been 20 minutes and let's just see if I can make, make it pink. Cats or dogs? Definitely dogs, it's definitely dogs. I'm like cutting myself out of this too. How am I like, why am I such a struggle bus right now? This will help. Am I in it now? See, like I'm waiting for the delay. This is not my fault. This is Facebook's fault. I swear to God. I am kind of in it, but I just. What is wrong with me? How do I do eyeliner wings so perfectly? Um, a lot of practice. Took a few years of. Uh, getting it there was like one year where I like literally did it like out to here so you know we don't start that well let's see I'm gonna put some paint in here try not to get it all over myself all right now I gotta try and make past lives pink do, do, do. oh I think I already added too much red oh no wait no 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 we're good wait it all like disappeared. It's like totally white now. That is not what I expected to happen. All right, here we go. Wait, no, it's totally white again. How is this happening? My cup's already like overflowing. You can't see what I'm doing, but I'm trying to mix this in here. I need a little more red. Why am I just the worst? This is like cropped in so close too. I feel like I should move you guys back or something. I don't know how it flipped. It just literally flipped itself. See, this looks too light for past lives pink. I think I gotta make another batch. Don't worry, I have one more cup. Well, got paint on my hand. Should have brought like a smock or something like that. Definitely gonna ruin my clothes. I would love to come to Sweden. You chose to see us over Metallica? That's crazy and awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And would understand if you chose Metallica over us. No, I know, but when I tilt the phone, it yells at me. Oh, wait. I think I'm getting it. I think I'm getting a past lives pink. Oh, wait. Nope. Too red still. They didn't sell pink in the store. They only sell white and red and wanted you to mix it yourself. So. But I'm not artistic enough this okay actually this is a pretty good pink I think this is really pretty close I don't know if you can see it. I'm mixing with the end of my brush that looks pretty pinky my pumpkin what am I gonna do on Halloween actually our guitar tech David is playing a cover show down in Orlando so I'm going to be in Orlando for Halloween and I'm very excited about it you can't see me painting this but I'm painting it I'm gonna move you guys back a little bit because because of this stupid crop thing. I feel like so much of me is cropped out of it. Okay. Bring. Now I'm gonna look there. Oh, you were at Guadalajara. That's awesome. Oh, I got paint on my hands already. I can't tell you what I'm gonna be for Halloween yet because I don't actually know yet either. I have a few options. I have to see which costume fits best, essentially. 
You're gonna dress up as me for Halloween? I would love that. That's awesome. That'd be so cool. Oh, I didn't get the gorilla costume. I don't think it would fit me because it was adult size. I think I would need a child size one, unfortunately. Of course there would be more of a past lives tour. We are not done yet. We we're just starting now and just came out. You dressed up as me for Halloween two years ago. You showed me a picture. That's awesome. Pasta or pizza? Um, I am definitely a pasta person, honestly. I know that sounds crazy because everybody loves pizza. And I love pizza, don't get me wrong. I just would always reach for pasta. Pasta is like my favorite food ever. I love noodles of any sort. So whatever your culture's noodle is, I will find it and I will love it. I love any and all noodles. No noodle left behind. I am so excited for the Asia tour. Um, we're going back to so many of my favorite places. Missing a couple of my favorite places too, so I'm sad about that, but yeah. If I come to Italy, you'll give me my your top 10 recipes? Okay, deal. No noodle left behind. Um, so honestly, the numbers on the past lives hoodie, the white past lives hoodie that we were selling on the tour mean absolutely nothing. Literally, they mean nothing. Like we had to ask our manager because we were like, where did these come from? What do they mean? Like, and he was just like, I don't know. <laughs> They're just random numbers. So if you want to make up your own secret meaning for them, that's cool. Because we don't actually know what they mean. We just thought they look cool, which seemed like quite the missed opportunity. My favorite album of 2018 that isn't past lives. Oh shit, what albums came out this year? Um, what album did come out this year that I really like? There was an album, I know like there's one that I really like. Hold on, to Spotify. There's a lot of albums I really like this year, but you asked for favorite. I love the 21 Pilots record. That one's awesome, obviously, but I need to tell any of you that. I think I got pink in my hair. Not that you could tell. Yeah, I did get pink paint in my hair. That's not good. I got so much paint in my hair. How did I do that? Let's see. Oh, I did. I got like a lot of paint in my hair. I don't even know how that happened. Phoebus. Thank you, Luke. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, I love Panic at the Disco. They're obviously awesome. And Brendan Urie is just unreally talented. He's insane. Is my shirt pink too? No, it's not, not yet. Yeah, I would love to tour with Paris. Those guys are awesome. They're such good people. And obviously awesome music. My favorite song ever? Shoot, I don't know, maybe Don't Stop Believing by Journey. <laughs> oh, wait, is this on my shirt? But my hair's covering it. Where? Oh, oh, yeah, it is. Oh, okay, that's fine. The shirt's $5. I got paint on me already. And I also gave up on carving my pumpkin. I was taking too long. <laughs> so I'm just painting it. Well, it was past lives pink, but it could also be pink for breast cancer awareness month. Okay, I got, luckily I have two pumpkins. <laughs> this isn't quite past lives pink anyway, so this can be our breast cancer awareness pumpkin. But I was gonna paint the eye on it after. Mm. Wow, painting a pumpkin's kind of hard. Paint doesn't really stick to it that well. Maybe you have to let it dry first and then do another coat, but ain't nobody got time for that. My favorite One Direction song? Oh, Heart Attack, for sure. 10 out of 10, every time, gets me hyped. I love Parachute and I love Forever and Always by Parachute and it gets me hyped but it also makes me cry. I'd love to do an ATC pop-up shop. That'd be awesome. I don't know how many people would come but it would be dope if we would. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, I know. We haven't had Paralyzed in the set this tour. We like to switch it around a bunch, so. Especially with playing five of the new songs, we had to, you know, get them in and out. What artist do I want to tour with in the future? I would love to tour with Lord. Lord's like my favorite artist ever. So I would love, love, love to, uh, to tour with Lord. My first celebrity crush was Aaron Carter. I loved Aaron Carter so much. I thought he was great. I had a little boombox and I had Britney Spears, um, NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, and Aaron, Aaron Carter CDs. And I loved Aaron Carter. We were gonna get married. Absolutely. Um, I don't know what he's up to now, though. Maybe planning our wedding. This pumpkin isn't looking too hot. It's not looking that bad either. It's just like very streaky. Oh, God. Oh, that's how I'm getting the paint in my hair. It's because I mixed with the... <laughs> Because <laughs> I mix at the end of this brush. Right, I'm gonna let this pumpkin sit for a minute. Maybe dry. And then I'll, I'll put the eye on later. She needs a little break. I gotta take a shower after this. Maybe we'll sing Legends Never Die at Rock and Ring. I'm so excited. Yeah, I do watch anime, and I actually just bought, um, when I was buying all these party supplies, I bought um, a how to draw a manga book because I am a terrible artist and I've always wanted to learn to draw but I don't think I'll ever be able to oh I bought a little coffin I don't think I'll ever be able to draw like real things so I was like maybe I can learn to draw like like real people like I could probably draw like cartoony type things but I don't think I could draw something that like looked realistic so I was like maybe I'll learn to draw manga because that's really cool or manga or manga Ooh. excuse me I am I have a terrible American accent and butcher every word I say. I would love to print to vinyl. Um, I hope we get to do it with this album. It'd be really cool. I would just love to have one of my own too because I finally have a record player. Yay! How long till we come back to Texas? Um, hopefully pretty soon. We're definitely uh, working on getting a, a US tour together. First CD I bought, like I bought personally, um, probably the Wicked soundtrack when I was like 10 years old because when I was 10 I went to camp and I wanted to be in Wicked so bad and I wanted to be Glinda and I was Nessa Rose, which is Alphaba's younger sister. I would hope we come to Australia soon. We're definitely planning to come everywhere we possibly can. So, we are working on it. We will come to Spain, I promise. We will come everywhere at some point eventually. This is hard, like what side do I not paint? You know, like how do I hold it? Now my fingers are all covered in paint. Arts and crafts is a struggle bus, guys. I don't know why I decided to do this, but it's fun. I'm having a good time. I hope you're having a good time too. Am I going to keep the pink hair for ages? Um, I'm probably going to keep it at least through the end of the year. Just because when I asked people <laughs> what they thought, everyone was like, don't get rid of the pink hair yet. Um, and just for the next like round of like music videos and whatnot, I probably want to keep it. And then eventually I'll change it up. I want to cut it. I want to cut it like, brr, or like, brr, and like maybe dark. Um, I don't know. I have so much paint. What do you do with that paint that you took out? Why did I do? Favorite artist band that we've toured with? Um, I love touring with All Time Low because they're such good people. They're like so much fun to be around and they're just so nice and warm and welcoming. But I also love Good Charlotte for the same reason. And Fall Boy was so awesome because it was just so cool to learn from them and just to be around their existence. And 10 year old me would never think that I would ever be around Pete Wentz in like a professional setting. So pretty cool, pretty cool. And also Patrick is like the best singer Ever. He's just an unreal singer, so it was really cool to watch him every night. I loved listening to them uh, soundcheck every day. Yeah, I still play League. I played uh, two nights ago. I'd love to tour with the Ma uh, Imagine Dragons. They're awesome. If I had to dye my hair another crazy color, what would it be? It would probably be like 
in a perfect world, if I could do this without all of my hair falling out, I would totally do it like a pastel violet, like lilac-y type thing. Um, I'm not really much for too many crazy colors because I'm so, like, I just don't think it looks good on me that much. Like, I don't think blue would look good on me, but I would definitely do like a lilac. Yes, I will stream on Twitch really soon, I promise. Justin Bieber, yes, absolutely yes. I'm still heartbroken that he just got married or maybe got married, I don't know. The fam are awesome. They're super hardworking, they're super sweet and they make awesome music. And I'm really happy that we got to tour with them um, and to take them out. Um, usually, would I ever use Austin's hair dye? Yeah, sure, I guess, why not? I don't, I haven't dyed my own hair pink, like when I first do it, I use overtone to touch it up after the fact, but Justin uh, Anderson is the one who dyes it initially because I don't trust myself with bleach at all. I got so much paint in my hair, y'all. It is not good. Okay, the five more questions and then I'll let everyone get on, along with their lives. Yeah, we're definitely gonna make another music video. We're working on the plans for one really, really, uh, for filming it really soon, actually. Favorite state champs song, um, Secrets or Elevated? Love them. What shampoo do I use? Uh, I won't make this count as one of the five. Um, what shampoo do I use? I don't know what it's called, I just know what it looks like. But I like this one, it was like Care Something. It was from Japan, I really liked it. You're doing a 2000 word essay about me? That's awesome, that's really cool. Also, I don't know how you're gonna write 2000 words about me because I can't even write 800 words about myself every week when I do my article, or every month rather. <laughs> I'm like, I'm at a loss. I'm like, I'm not interesting enough for this. Yeah, we're coming back to the Philippines in like four weeks. And go to our website, etcofficial.com, shameless plug for our Asia tour coming up soon. Yeah, I've been to most Disney worlds. Actually, well, I've been to four out of six and I need to go to Paris and I need to go to Hong Kong. But I've been to Shanghai, Tokyo, and Disneyland and Disney World. I would love to tour with Paramore, that was awesome. The hardest thing about writing the Roxanne article every month is starting it. Once I start, I can go and that's fine. But just choosing where to start is the hardest part. I can't believe how much paint I got in my hair. <laughs> I'd love to come to Egypt. That'd be really, really cool. Say something in Spanish, please. Hola. Me llamo Cristina. I don't know how to say it. I have paint in my hair. Tango. Paint. And me. Oh god, what's hair? I forgot what hair is. It's weird. It's like my survival instincts uh, checked in so hard when we were in South America and Latin America and I needed to use Spanish to order something when we ever we interacted with someone who didn't speak English. It was like fine. And then now when I'm home, if you're just like, say something in Spanish, I'm like, tango, una, Uno pero, un pero. Like, I can't even form a sentence, you know? Um, so, yeah, it's weird. But then when I'm there, I was like, I am ready to go. I'm like, rambling off in Spanish, ordering food, everything. I'm currently watching Parks and Rec. I love Parks and Rec. Leslie Note makes me want to quit my band and become a government official. <laughs> I'm super stoked about being on the cover of Roxanne. It's really, really cool. It's, you know, getting to be on the magazine that covers a lot of my favorite music is pretty insane, so. Yeah, I have a pet. I have a dog, Sammy. She's really cute. Sammy! Sam! Where's Sammy? Anybody? Mom? Where's Sammy? I do watch The Office. I love The Office. I know I gotta watch Brooklyn Nine Nine. I love. I want to see it so bad. I love Terry Crews, and everyone says how good Brooklyn Nine Nine is, so I have to watch it. All right, Samuel, take us out.
Oh, I got more pink on my shirt. <gasps> Sammy! Come here, big girl! Come here, come say hi. Where'd you go? Come here. You are. You say hi. Hello. Sammy is five years old. Um, she'll be six January 4th. Are you gonna burp? Oh, she almost burped. <laughs> she almost burped. She's just kind of like a big stepped animal. She just kind of chills. The real queen is here. <laughs> Uh, she's so good. She is super cute. Don't put your paw on that. There's lots of paint there. I don't want you to get paint on yourself. You will get paint on you. I cannot speak German. I can only say schnitzel and Dankeschön. Sammy, what is your favorite Against the Current song? What do you think? You can tell me. She likes come alive, she says. She also likes voices. I think she likes voices because it sounds more like my speaking voice. So when my mom was playing it on TV the other day, she like registered that it was me. A pink Sammy would be so cool. Okay, bye. Say bye everybody. Goodbye. All right. I'm gonna let y'all go. Thank you for watching. I'll let you know how my pumpkin turns out. I think I gotta let it dry and then do a couple more coats, but I'm gonna try and get the paint out of my hair now. So we'll see how that goes. Bye. Okay, bye for real this time.